Good morning, everyone. Here's your weather hazard briefing for Friday, May 28th. It's shaping up to be a pretty good Memorial Day weekend if you're looking for some dry weather across our area. A couple of exceptions. Today we do have a storm that's moving along to our north that's going to bring a front through. Stronger winds and maybe a few showers at least early this morning up around Lost Trail Pass and then again this afternoon by Island Park. And then another week of little storm coming through. We might see a few storms along the Wyoming border on Sunday. Otherwise, high pressure coming in. It may be not until the end of next week, at least through the middle of next week, we're going to see the warm weather and maybe a change coming at that point. Things to remain, remain to be seen, so definitely keep tuned over the next few days just to see when this pattern will change because it looks like it's going to be pretty warm and even on the hot side for some folks in central and eastern Idaho. There's that low this morning across southern Canada along the U.S. border. The Canada border, we got trailing clouds. we got a trailing uh, cold front that's going to move through today, and that's going to help kick off the stronger winds and maybe a few of those showers and storms uh, across uh, northern areas this morning and again this afternoon. Otherwise, not much going on that's going to impact our weather. We do have some stronger winds today across the Snake Plain and the Magic Valley where we do have some wind advisories in effect. Otherwise, it'll be breezy, and like I said, the real threat of seeing anything of significance for a shower or storm, and it's still not a big chance, is up around the Island Park area. There's maybe those few showers along the Wyoming border and storms on Sunday. The trend is still downward in seeing that chance, but it's still there. It's not zero, but it's not very high either. Otherwise, not much of impact weather coming our way heading into the first few days of the month of June. So how does that look, uh, looking at how we're going to see how those, where those showers and storms will be? You can see already this morning a few very light showers up, especially once you get north of Salmon towards Lost Trail Pass. Going into this afternoon, you'll notice pretty quickly they'll start developing just north of the border, north of West Yellowstone, up between West Yellowstone and Bozeman around Big Sky. And then uh, they'll see those storms dropping into around Manita Pass over through the Island Park area, but you'll see by late afternoon, early this evening, they are gone. Not much going on, like I said, after that point. They're looking at the bigger picture going through the next few days. There's that storm for today moving eastward. You'll see a little bit of a wave developing over Idaho as we go into Sunday afternoon. That is the only reason, that's the only thing there that is trying to kick off those a few showers and storms along the Wyoming border. If this system comes in even weaker, all I, we may see with that is just a few clouds later on Sunday. Other than that, you can see high pressure building in, and that trend continues through the middle part of next week. Uh, there's some indications we may see this pattern changing as early as Thursday, but all indications, or at least there are some indications, that this may actually hold off until we get into Friday. So delay that change by about at least 24 hours. Otherwise, for those winds today, you can see they're strongest early in the day across the Snake Plain, where some gusts 25 to 35 are expected. Stronger winds this afternoon across portions of the Central Mountains, but certainly the Magic Valley and the Snake Plain. Some of these gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour. That's going to impact folks going out on American Falls Reservoir and also just anyone traveling uh, across some of these with this strong crosswind today. Higher profile vehicles, bigger vehicles will have a tough time trying to navigate some of the stronger winds for this afternoon. They'll hold until about sunset, starting to weaken just a little bit after 6 o'clock, but certainly after sunset, they'll start dropping off across the area. For this afternoon, temperatures in the mid-60s to low 70s over much of central and eastern Idaho and the lower elevations. Stanley in the low 60s, Chalice near 70. If you're headed to the mountains, at least for today, we're going to look at 50s and 60s for afternoon highs. It'll be a chilly one in the morning, a little chillier than this morning, up in around Copper Basin, the Stanley Basin, temperatures down into the 20s, and that's going to be the same for some of our really high elevations in the morning. Otherwise, 30 to near 30s to near 40 degrees. We do pick up a couple of degrees across the area tomorrow. We'll see temperatures pushing the mid-70s across portions of the Magic Valley into the Treasure Valley. Otherwise, 60s and even some 50s still hanging on if you're going way up into the mountains for tomorrow. Going into Sunday, you can see it continuing to warm across the area. Some places pushing 80 degrees, but definitely 70s in the lower elevations, 60s in the mountains. Going into Monday, continuing that trend, here we are on Tuesday. 
mid to upper 80s in many locations across uh, especially the lower snake plain into the magic and treasure valleys and this trend will continue into thursday here's a look at those highs on thursday we're going to see low 90s maybe pushing mid 90s once you get into the magic valley into the treasure valley stanley is going to be well into the 80s in the afternoon chalice 91 degrees 80 on island park if you're looking for a cool spot across the area by the time we get to about a week from now like i said most of the Memorial Day weekend will be dry. We do have that storm passing by today that will give us a few showers and a few afternoon storms around Island Park and the wind. And if that wave coming through on Sunday is strong enough, a few storms along the Wyoming border. Otherwise, a hot and dry peri period is headed our direction. So have a great Friday. If you're going anywhere, do have a great Memorial Day weekend, and do stay safe, everyone.